Hello everybody and welcome to the second video lecture in the series of confirmatory factor analysis estimation. In this uh, video lecture I want to show you Semplot, which is an R package that I wrote uh, that can be used to draw path diagrams from the output of Lavan, but also from some other packages like Sem, RechSem, uh, Liswell and Plus uh, and I think a few more. And it's a really useful tool to see if you specify the right model. It also helps to draw a path diagram in a sort of nice way, uh, relatively uh, easy. So I'll give a brief demonstration of this. Here I'll uh, fit the same model to the Star Wars data that I used in the previous uh, video. Then I can use the SEMPATHS function, so not SEMPLOT. It's a different name, SEMPATHS, to draw a path diagram. And now I have a path diagram of the model. So um, this shows three latent variables. The names are abbreviated. Uh, factor loadings. Uh, these uh, variances here are dashed, indicating that they're fixed. And I have a residual covariance here. Now I can do uh, quite a lot. There are quite a lot of arguments to sample uh, paths. For example, I can write std as first argument or second argument and st as third to get this weighted uh, representation where uh, the standard uh, standardized uh, parameter estimates are used as edge weights here uh, and the estimates are used as uh, edge labels here. And to show a few more things we can do, I first create this vector with uh, descriptions of each variable and then I have here a very long um, call to sandpots which creates this plot. So what does this do? Um, these are the arguments for what is drawn with the edges, what is drawn with the labels. The Liswell style will make these residuals a arrow rather than this curved arrow, which is a bit more in line with what we do in lectures as well. Adjusted scale makes these bigger. Team equals colorblind is a QGraph argument that, uh, with QGraph is the package under the hood here, that um, makes the green edges blue. So uh, that is better for people with color blindness because they can, or quite a lot of people cannot distinguish green from red from each other. So this is uh, nicer. And char nodes equals zeros means that these are no longer abbreviated. If I set this to one or two, they're abbreviated, but to zero, it's uh, disabled. Manifests, this will uh, give me a vector of Q1, 2, 3, all the way to 10. That's because Lavan actually reorders these variables a bit and I don't want that. So I want them in this order from Q1 to Q10. Then I can say reorder is false to tell SEMPATHS not to reorder them as well. Then I can use this node names argument to create this uh, sort of uh, legend on the side. Uh, I can use this legend sex and I actually see here that it's uh, a bit too big so I can make this legend smaller. The rotation here will rotate my plot. So one will be this and three will be upside down. I kind of like uh, this rotation. The layout here, there are three options for trees. Three, three, two, and three, three. And for a current effect now small, that will be basically the same. But um, for such equation models, they'll have some differences in there. Uh, cardinal, this will make these uh, edges here connect to the cardinal point, which is this center point on the, on the left. Curve pivot, this makes these not curved, but they make them like this sort of uh, half curved shape, which can be nicer, especially here, otherwise this edge would be too big. And these are the size of the manifest and latent variables. Now there's some more things we can do with SEMPLOT, it's not only a package for plotting. Uh, one function in particular that I like is SEM matrix algebra, where I can write a matrix expression with the model matrices, for example lambda, and I get my factor loading structure. Psi, theta, and this lambda times psi times lambda transpose plus theta will give me my implied variance covariance matrix. Finally, we can use uh, sample as well to generate Lavan syntax. So this function here will generate a syntax that I could copy uh, to a model and then fit a Lavan model to. And that can be really useful, especially if you have an M plus model and we want to generate a Lavan syntax to quickly refit it in a different software. Now, unfortunately, I have to admit that the documentation of Semplot is not that good. Uh, the best examples you can find actually in a 
presentation that I gave in 2014, which has quite a big description uh, of all the kinds of uh, arguments that you can use. And there's also a paper in structural equation modeling that you can read. All right, that's it for Semplot. Uh, next, I'll show you how to use JASP.